I decided to go to science because I like uh, mathematics, I like physics and chemistry, so science in general. And then I decided to move to science from high school because I found it interesting. And I saw like there is a challenging that need to be, I mean, like for example, I hear about a big scientist, a big, uh, uh, you can say, people who discovering stuff, which I was interested to know how, if I can be one of them, I mean, as a, as a big dream. So I decided, okay, let me try. And then I was like, in some point, didn't know which field to go because as I told you, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. So in the end, they say, okay, let me go to physics because physics, it has mathematics somehow. And then chemistry, it can enter somewhere because when you do research, you usually use the all scientific field. So, and then I applied for getting my, I mean, my degree in physics and I got it. So I studied physics in Sudan, Sudan University uh, of Science and Technology. And I spent about four years doing my baccalaureate and I, I mean, graduated at the end of the day by honor in the first class. And so that is excite me that I can get a chance and continue doing research. And during my fourth year, I have been taught by one of the professor who is studied outside and he was teaching in that time. And so he was telling about nanotechnology, nanoscience and so on. And so that's excited me that, uh, okay, so there is people can study stuff in something that you can see with your eyes. And so let me go in this field and see what's going on. So it's kind of curiosity, you can say, in the same times is kind of uh, interesting me. So it's like, okay, let me go and try. And so my challenge was how to get a scholarship because I'm coming from family. It's not a poor, but it's kind of family that is just enough to eat and maybe go to university or school. And so I was working in university as a teaching assistant for three years, in which I was trying to collect some money in order to start my master's degree in Sudan. In the same time, to like, um, how to say, to practice my language, English, and as well as um, German, because I was planning to go to Germany for master's degree. So uh, during this three year, I applied different places, and one of the places it was Maxi Plan in Germany, and I got a reply from them, which uh, they say, okay, uh, your application is interesting, but we need English certificate because I'm coming from Arabic country. So uh, I had, okay, let me do it. So I say, okay, could you wait until I do the exam? They say, okay, you have one month. But then later I realized that to do the TOEFL exam or IELTS is need at least two months to, to apply and then to do the exam and get the certificate. Well, by the end of the day, they say, okay, you can apply next year. So I got kind of disappointed, like, oh, okay, I'm going to miss one year and so on. But then I found that if I apply to ICTB, which I have been there, which is International Center for Theoretical Physics, is in Italy, uh, it's going to be a good, because it's one year of program, postgraduate diploma, but it will help me from there to find my way. And uh, especially, I'm a kind of person who is always asking why. So in the class when I do mathematics or physics, they ask me, uh, it's like they write down a question. I say, but why it is in this way? So most of the time I get a reply like, ah, it's a question. So uh, the scientists found it and you just have to memorize it. And I, I don't like this kind of thing. So I want to know why. And also I can find a way, maybe I can get not the same equation, but drive it in a different way, prove it. And uh, so I say, okay, let me go to ICTB. I have been there for one year. During the first six months, uh, they asked me ah, if you want to continue to do second year, which you do more specific courses. So I was doing general physics. So you can go because you are qualified. And so I, I say, okay, so I can apply. And I decided to go to Condes Meta, which is taking me later to nanotechnology. Uh, during this year, I did my thesis later in, um, I mean, in a, in a field which is biophysics, but in a nanoscale study. So it's what I want. And during my research, it was experimental. I found that I'm not like to be theoretical anymore because yeah, theoretical is nice to do modeling, computational and so on, but playing and doing experiments is, is a, I mean, it's make me more interest than doing theoretical. So I moved to the experimental part and I was lucky because uh, doctor I work with her as a professor, she was interesting to have me for a PhD. So I continue my PhD in Italy. I, so I moved from uh, ICTB, International Center for Theoretical Physics, to go to Elettra. And in Elettra there, I, 
I mean, during my research, I was like trying to travel around, doing conference, attending conference in a different country in Europe and also outside of Europe. And uh, last year, I, I mean, the last year of my PhD, I moved to Germany, in which I found a group of research which is really uh, impressed me by the research they are doing, by the publications that they have, and uh, the qualification in general. So I decided, okay, maybe after I finish my PhD, I will go there. So this is what, where I am now. So I'm doing my postdoctoral in Germany, in George August University, which I'm continuing the same field. So the field is like doing a nano uh, structure study, or you can say um, nano science in general, uh, in a field of biophysics. And uh, in this field, I move in a different places, but in the end of the day, I'm in the area of trying to find treatment, diagnosis, uh, as well, uh, how to, um, you can say, earlier diagnosis, but also how to treat and how to block the cancer cell. This is what I'm trying to do now. What I mean by block, because if you're looking for treatment, the cancer is the type of uh, diseases that you don't discover it from early stage. Only if you do frequent, uh, you can say all the time you are doing frequently, testing, checking, all the type of cancer and so on. If you don't do that, then suddenly the cancer appears by you have a lot of uh, problems coming together and then you go, they say you have cancer. But then the question is how to solve it. In the beginning, the question was how to diagnose it and how to treat it. We were trying to do that, I mean, not me, but the scientists in general. So they were trying to find um, a treatment or medicine that can solve the problem. But indeed, you can't solve it because it's kind of a cell that is growing, uh, you can say crazy, and uh, is doing a lot of things on the body, which is, uh, you, you can say, decreasing the immune system of your body, which is attracting a lot of illness, and in the end, is lead to death, so people die. So the idea is like how to treat it before treating, how to diagnose it. Uh, one of the big problem we have for diagnosis is that it takes a long time, and the cancer, it is spreading very fast. So it's like the time you start to know if the person has cancer or not, he will be in the last stage and he will die immediately. So the idea is like we are trying to find a faster way for diagnosis, and that is by trying to know how you can know if uh, your sample, which has maybe the blood sample, if has cancer or not, so to do it faster. So in, uh, now it is taking a week, so we are trying to do it in a days or in hours or maybe in minutes. Uh, this is one way. The second way is treatment, which a lot of people doing radiation, they do a lot of kind of research of how to try to treat the person, but usually after operation. So they try to take uh, the part which has a cancer and then they do radiation and so on. In my part, which I are trying to block, because the problem with cancer is not just to treat or to diagnosis, but it's how to make it fix and then you can do the treatment later. I mean, to stop this growing. And this blocking, it can be done only if you do the study in a basic, so in the cell itself. It's how you can stop this division. And so this is what I was trying to do during my PhD and now. So during my PhD, I was trying to stop, yeah, but also it was more diagnosis and treatment. But for blocking, you stop that the cancer is not going to grow anymore. And you can easily do the operation and do whatever kind of treatment you do later. Really, we need to develop this kind of research and technology in our country, so in Africa in general. And in fact, if I got the same or the similar research in Africa, I will move. Even if it's not in Sudan, I will move to the other part, which is in the end of the day is Africa and is much easier than to go to, to Europe. And so uh, what I can tell that I'm trying now through NEF, since I'm NEF ambassador, through NEF is to try to make a project, programs, and some activities that help people maybe to go out to make a training and come back. Or maybe they can uh, go out for a study and come back later. And in this time, while they are doing their study, we are trying to establish center for research and so on. And there is another fact that in Sudan, for example, we have a lot of facility, which I use now in Germany and in Italy. We have it. Maybe it's a different version. I mean, it's an old version. But in the end of the day, it's doing the same job. Maybe it's not the same resolution you get in the end of the day and not the same speed. I mean, it's not faster, it takes a long time. But the idea is like, um, through NEF or through my job as NEF ambassador, I'm trying to find a funding which can lead this kind of facility to be working. And the problem of facility, not only the material that is used, but also the expertise. Because when your machine is working, you need someone 
uh, any small problem you have, he can fix it or she can fix it. So uh, this is what is my, you can say, is my dream. So my dream is to have a group of research in my country or in Africa in general, in which is that I set my lab. And my lab is going to be maybe machines that is already in, in the country, or maybe I can get it from, uh, this is what I'm trying to do, network. So I can get this machine, but then the problem you need funding for that. And to get funding, uh, nowadays, if you go to Europe, you get fund for the students to study, in which now I'm having like a full salary, when even I was doing my PhD. So having full salary is that I'm living my life, I'm doing everything. At the same time, I get everything free in university to work with. So the goal now is to let the machine work in, is to fund the machine. And then the students, yeah, they can pay the normal fee of university and do their research, it's okay. But not to let the students to pay for their research. Because it's a really big problem. Only the people who are, uh, you can say, rich can do that. And we have a big majority of people are not rich. So we have to work for that. So I just want to tell people that don't be disappointed, that always there is a way. So there is a hundred way that you can get what you want. The idea is like you should not give up. Because give up, it is, uh, then it means that, okay, everything is, is destroy your dream and everything is going to be go bad. Mm -hmm.